so previously i had showed you the implementation of uh, headless auto starting of google assistant on pi along with uh, startup audio and and then the wake word or detection tone or audio or whatever you call it so now i have implemented uh, triggering or control of the raspberry pi gpu using uh, the google assistant locally run google assistant without the help of api.ai ift or the google actions so what you can actually do and what you can not do is you can trigger the gpios using the google assistant run on raspberry pi you cannot trigger the gpios using the google assistant on your google home or uh, mobile phone this is just for locally triggering the uh, raspberry pi gpios just like the ai kit hey google trigger bathroom lights on turning on the device hey google trigger bedroom lights on turning on the device hey google trigger kitchen lights on turning on the device hey google trigger kitchen lights off turning off the device hey google trigger bedroom lights off turning off the device hey google trigger bathroom lights off turning off the device so here uh, if you see we need to use a trigger word otherwise this will give you some weird results or the assistant will say that it doesn't know what it is doing so in this case i have used the trigger word called trigger so you can change this uh, trigger word in the program i will just show you as to what you can do to change the program and as of now i have just implemented the turning on and turning off functionality i have also added an audio to indicate that it is turning on or turning off and apart from this i have also added the shutdown feature so after giving you guys an insight into the code and the scope of modification and all the stuff finally i will uh, show you the voice over shutdown feature okay so over to the on screen instructions so apart from uh, working on the projects for pi 3 and the pi 2 uh, that is the ones with the wake word i have also modified the codes for the push to talk so that uh, even the raspberry pi 0 and the 0w uh, users get benefited so first up let's jump over to the usual hot word and then finally i'll take you through the push to talk thing so all the modifications that i have done is within this main.py so starting from here i have added the rpy uh, gpo library and for uh, triggering the audio and uh, shutting down i have added the sub process i imported the sub process so after importing all the libraries and stuff i have declared the gpio over here i have created a variable called uh, var uh, this assigns the names to the different uh, gpios so i have given the names called kitchen lights bathroom lights and bedroom lights you can assign whatever you want and then similarly you can assign the other pins as well i have assigned uh, just three pins you can just add uh, how many other pins you want and one thing that you must note over here is the number of uh, devices mentioned in the variable var should match the number of gpio pins over here else you will run into errors so that is that makes sense right so why uh, do you create a device uh, more than the number of gpios or why do you declare more number of gpios than the number of uh, devices it absolutely makes sense and then uh, instead of uh, individually uh, uh, creating the pin outs i have created a for loop and this will automatically include all these gpios and assign them as uh, out devices or gpio out so all these pins on initialization will be low and if you scroll down below over here under the process event so this is the code that creates the uh, wake word detection audio i have used the facebook messenger tone and scrolling down below so this is the actual heart of the operation over here so first up uh, sub process p open again startup tone uh, self explanatory and then uh, this is the this is the place where the magic happens 
so as soon as the event is getting uh, triggered i am reading out the event arguments and this is being converted into a string and within the string i am searching for the word called trigger so if the word trigger is not found it will automatically go into this event process and then uh, google will uh, search get you the search results for your query so if it finds the word called a trigger within the string or the user arguments it will go into this loop over here so what i have actually done is as soon as it uh, finds the trigger word the conversation will stop else if you remove this uh, stop conversation line what will actually ha happen is google will process even this query and it will say that uh, sorry i cannot help you or uh, uh, i don't understand what you mean or something like that so in order to avoid all that i'm using the assistant uh, dot stop conversation so this will abruptly start uh, stop all the conversations and your results will not be processed and then into the shutdown loop over here so first uh, i'll play an audio which says that the pi is sh shutting down i am giving a sleeping time of 10 seconds for this audio to fully play and then it initiates the safe shutdown so you must all be aware of this code uh, this is what is normally used for a uh, push button shutdown and all the stuff gpio push button shutdown so i'm using the same thing and you can use it without any worries it is absolutely safe to use and then uh, if if it doesn't find the shutdown command it will automatically go into the uh, gpio triggering loop over here so num uh, name and enumerating i am enumerating the variable over here enumeration what it will do is it will assign the kitchen lights as 0 bathroom lights as 1 bedroom lights as uh, 2 so that is what uh, the enumeration does and after that it will search for these names in the user query one by one it will look for all these names in the user query and if a name matches it will extract uh, the number or uh, the number in the array and then it will find the corresponding uh, array in the gpio declaration and then it will trigger all the process over here and then again i have used uh, two audio files one to show that the device is turning on and other to show that the device is turning off so now it might look simple but trust me uh, it was not simple <laughs> So with this, I can say that uh, this Google Assistant project is on par with uh, AIY uh, projects kit. So we are doing all the stuff what uh, even the AIY kit is capable of doing. Controlling the GPIOs, uh, shutting down and all the stuff. I think uh, in the next video, I will uh, add the stepper motor control functionality for, for the GPIOs. So and then uh, moving over to the push to talk. I don't want the Raspberry Pi 0 and the 0 W users to be left out. So it is the same case over here, but with a slight modification, the variable declaration and uh, library importing and all the stuff is almost same. And the loop happens in the beginning itself, unlike uh, the other program, the loop happens in the beginning itself and it is a kind of similar uh, loop with just a small modification uh, to the different uh, variable names and numbers and all the stuff and again over here you have an audio for uh, pi shutting down device turning off device uh, turning on device turning off and if you scroll down below you can see that i have added an startup audio for this one as well okay so the users uh, who are were using the push to talk what you can actually do is uh, you can clone the uh, github library for using the audio files you need not run any scripts and all the stuff or you need not even set up the google assistant you can just uh, clone the scripts you can just uh, clone the project for the audio files and then uh, one more uh, thing that i would like to emphasize over here is you need to use uh, dsnoop and dmix plugins especially when you are using uh, push to talk 
so i would uh, suggest you to install the audio scripts that i have given in the uh, g assist py project so you can clone that project use the uh, audio scripts and then uh, use the uh, audio files wav files and you can use it at your own uh, convenience okay so before uh, closing down everything let me just finally show you the shutting down of pi using voice command so as you can see guys all the leds are turned on and if i pan over to the screen you can see that the os is still up and running hey google trigger shut down turning off raspberry pi so now all the leds got turned off and if you can see here i was using a vnc to connect to the pi even that has been disconnected okay so that is pretty much it guys so here is it the functionality to control your raspberry pi uh, gpios using a uh, google assistant as well as shut down or uh, safe shut down your raspberry pi using your google assistant so i hope that you find this really useful and informative and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos and Take care bye bye and see you all in the next one